Trading the foreign exchange market carries high risk and may not be suitable for all investors trading on margin. Utilizing leverage can carry even higher level of risk and can lead to a complete loss of investment funds. So before deciding to trade the foreign exchange market or using any of our software alert products, you should carefully and diligently consider your personal investment objectives, level of experience, and risk tolerance. There is a possibility that you could potentially sustain significant loss. You should not invest any capital or trade that you cannot afford to lose. It is your responsibility to be aware of and understand all risks associated with foreign exchange trading and to seek professional advice from an independent certified financial advisor if you have any doubts. Avoria Prime does not exercise trading authority over your trades. You and you alone exercise discretionary trading authority over every trade welcome welcome to the last call all right started off you guys already know uh, my name is nathan williams i am the developer of the arrow software uh, i am not a financial advisor uh, avoya prime is not a financial advising company uh, and the only certified financial advisor in the entire company is mr steve vetero he has calls on wednesdays and saturdays so if you missed wednesday you can catch him on saturday uh you know with the uh, you know, with his call and you can ask him and he will give you financial advice. He is certified to give that financial advice. All right. So uh, this is a live trade room. We will take live trades, but they are for educational purposes only so that we can. Uh, so that we can. Show how to use the arrow software in a live environment. That's it. All right. All right. Uh, Rod said, don't start nothing. Don't start nothing, won't be nothing, Looney. All right, so let's jump into it and take a look at all the news. All right, so let's go ahead and refresh. We'll take a look at MyFX book. All right, MyFX book. You can see here Euro news coming in two hours and 49 minutes. So when we get off, we'll be off the call by then. So no news. Just had some orange folder, Euro and GP news. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and refresh this right here. All right. Let's see here. Looks like we are clear until 830 with CAD news. All right. So we are clear until 830 with CLAD news. We're clear here. So should have a pretty clear night tonight. All right, go ahead and refresh the um, currency strength meter. All right, there that go. All right, so we kind of get a gauge at that. All right. Jump out of that, Let's check the chat real quick. All right. Uh, nothing in there, nothing, no Q&A. All right, let's jump on the Chizarts. Let's jump on the Chizarts. Oh, hold on. We got something in the Q&A. Hold on, we got something in the Q&A. You know that song. Man, how you know that song, man? It, it, that song don't even have any words to it, man. CHQ and A. What do you mean we're clear? I'm not really sure what you mean by the question. Not really sure what you mean by the question. What do you mean we're clear? Well, uh, you got to uh, ask a little or add a little more context to that question so I understand what you're talking about. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure what you're speaking of. Let's go jump on these charts. Boom, boom, boom. We on the Chizarts. All right. So we see here that uh, we got one, two, three, four GDP pairs trending down and two trending up. It's a good sign to look for sales. German 30 trending down. All right. You can see one of the pairs that's trending up is already at the yellow of its ADR, and GCAT is already red. So it's already over its ADR. So the two pairs trending up are significantly over their ADR. Everything else is still green. That's a good sign. All right, it's a good sign. All right, hold on, go to the chat. Uh, 
George. Welcome back, boss. I appreciate it, George, man. It's good to be back. Uh, clear of news. Yeah, that might be Nick Looney. We are clear tonight. Clear. No news tonight. Uh, hey, no problem, Edward. Man, glad to have you on the call, man. When you were looking at the Forex chart, you said we're clear. Okay, Isaiah said, so what that means is we are clear from a standpoint of news. So no news tonight. All right, you all I always understand what time of day your news, uh, your economic news will come up. If you don't really have news, then you should be pretty clear to trade as is, all right? As is and not really have too many issues worrying about news, all right? Hey, Jim, I appreciate you, man. Good to be seen, all right? GI, money zone breakout. Take a look at it. Take a look at it. All right, so let's clear these chizarts. Still got the markers from yesterday. This is GJ. GJ been in a downtrend for a long way, for a long time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days of downtrend with GJ. GU. Boom, boom, boom. Not the same. It's trending down. All right. GR. All right, trending up. It's been trending up, which is weird to see a G pair trend up so long when other G pairs been trending down. All right, keep an eye on it though. GBP NZD. Same thing, trending up. Had a nice pullback. All right, continuing this trend. G Chef. Been trending down for a long while. All right. GCAD. All right. It's been trending up for a while. The dirty 30. The dirty 30, German 30. Still has not closed that gap from yesterday, huge gap. Had a huge fall last right last night, huge drop, W formation, nice little pullback. All right, now it's just kind of sitting in this range. Let's see what happens. Euro GBP. All right, like I tell you guys, easy 10 pips and then some. Remember that W formation? Broke it and, it, and you got the bag entry here. Then you got another bag entry right there and it just took off from there, all right? I say you start to understand, you know, that W formation was also a market maker cycle. Had a quick cycle down, the overall trend is up. Trend up, quick cycle down, W formation started the what? Started a new market maker cycle. Beautiful. W, here's the first V right there. V, right there. WVVM. Check this Q&A. What is the arrow MM you click on your templates? Um, so that's something you won't have. It's just uh, MM stands for market maker. So it automatically puts my 200 moving average on there. Uh, but when you click on arrow, it'll put everything on there for you. Uh, yes, I made the manifest seven group. I have not got to everybody on Telegram yet. So I'll get to, when I get to everybody, I'll, when I get to you, I will verify everything and then I will add you to the group. So the group, I started a group, started adding people to the group as I get there. Uh, as I get, as I get, you know, I get the verification, uh, but nothing started yet. So you're not missing anything if you haven't been added to the group just yet. Your odd been on a straight up trend. Your JPY, it's been a nice little downtrend. Your NZD, been a nice uptrend. And then what you guys love to trade at Bitcoin. Now we talked about this. The yellow, I'll put the yellow on both sides. I said, if it breaks and retests, one of these is going to take off in that direction. Well, look what happened. It broke, came back, retested that same yellow line, and did what? Took off. Let's see here. Where's a good entry at? Came back, retest. Got a doji right there at the line, followed by a bullish engulfing. And it should have had a nice little entry. Just off price action alone, right there, 
and you'd be up right now uh, 186,718 points or about 19,000 pips. So congrats to anybody that took that trade. All right. We, we played that last night. What was I looking at? The information here, you know, at this level, at this strong level of resistance, and then the W formation right here at this strong level of support. All right. Yellow line right there, yellow line right there. I say wherever, whenever price broke through either one of those lines, it'll come back, retest it, and take it off. We're going to the upside, who knows where we'd go. It wouldn't surprise me to see a Bitcoin hit 50,000 this weekend. Not that it's going there, but I'm just saying it just wouldn't surprise me to see that it hit that. All right. Let's clear that out. Boom, boom, boom. Cool, cool, cool. That was a good play right there. Very good play right there. If I need to start taking my own advice and taking that trade, I should take that trade. All right. Let's see if we can't find some setups now. Now I'll start paying attention. Attention. Uh, so, GJ. Let's go look at GJ. GJ. We had the high and the drop. All right. So it's still in the sell trend. Crazy thing is that GJ, on the market maker trend cycle, this peak formation high used to be up here. So it's still in that nice downtrend. All right. Nice downtrend. Nice downtrend. So I would be looking for sales on GJ today. I'd be looking for sales. I'd be looking for price to break which it already did, but it's at a support level. Break the low. I'll change that to yellow. See, a little easier on the eyes. Oh yeah, we're less than 50 pips. It already broke through, but it's at a support level. So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll keep an eye on that. But I'll be looking for sales on GJ. GU, let's take a look at GU. GU, still in a sale trend. All right, still in a sale trend. Got the exit sign up here, so it's already hit its three day ADR. So, potential opportunity for reverse, for reversal, potential. We haven't got the peak formation low yet, so uh, definitely there's a potential for it. But in the meantime, it's still in a downtrend. And That's the low right there. So we'll keep an eye on that. G odd. Is it a nice low uptrend? Let's go look at the market maker cycle, the market maker trend. Let me see. Yeah, peak formation low. Still an uptrend. Still an uptrend, but it's way overdue. Exercise should be popping up any minute. Should be popping up any minute. All right, but it hasn't just yet. So in the meantime, you know, hey, still an uptrend. We'll keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Already broke above Asia high, right at a resistance zone though. So, you know, keep an eye on that one. GBPNZD. Let's go take a look at that bad boy. GBPNZD, still an uptrend. Not close, you know, we're almost at three day, three day ADR, but we're still an uptrend on GBPNZD, all right. So we are looking for potential buys. Uh, Nate, you should mark the money zone strat four for GI. All right, we'll take a look at that. GI, money zone. All right. Boom, there it is. All right. So now we got Asia high and then previous day's money zone high. All right. GBP and CD, we are still in a uptrend. All right. There's the high of Asia. Let's look, is it more than 50 pips? It is significantly more than 50 pips. So we probably are not gonna mess around with GN today. G Chef, Wee. G Chef. Still on a downtrend, all right, still on a downtrend. 
that G at peak formation high used to be up here. Now it's moved right there where the information is at from you. You guys remember that big drop yesterday. The bot was in the trade. It was in a buy yesterday. All right. It changed on us. Flipped. Was a peak formation low. Flipped the peak formation high. So it, it happens. That happens. The market changes on you. So we're looking at a potential sell trend. All right. Looking at potential sell. It already broke the Asia low. All right. I already broke it. Let's see. More than 50 pips. 46 and a half. Right there in that bubble. Right there in that bubble. Might have to jump in that one. And then GCAD heard uh, from a few people today that Neo didn't do very good today uh, or, or yesterday. So uh, I'm not really sure what happened, but definitely has been in a strong uptrend for the last. One, two, three, four, five. Now six days. So, uh, you know, Neil had his own strategy. I don't really know it that well, but I'd have to take a look at it. Uh, but yeah, strong uptrend right now. We can go take a look at GCAT. And you can see that peak formation low is down there. It's been a nice uptrend. You can see peak formation low happened here. Um, you wouldn't have took that signal because it happened on the same day. All right, could have took that one right there. Nice buy right there. So still an uptrend, getting pretty close. To, you know, it's already over the three day ADR, getting pretty close. That exit sign uh, potentially could be popping up any day now. All right, got nice rejection right there. So who knows? Could see a nice little pullback. Could see a nice pullback. But in the meantime, man, it actually like it already. Like, look, man, somebody could have made some nice little, let me see, this is 20 pips. Ooh, there it is. Broke above Asia High right here. First candle of the money zone. Next candle went 30 pips. So strategy three breakout and strategy four breakout already played out on GCAD. So not going to touch GCAD. GCAD done for those strategies. So not going to worry about those. And then the dirty 30. Yeah. Uh, not worried about this one too much. Not too much volume going on right now. Yesterday surprised me, though. I'm not going to lie. Yesterday surprised me. Yesterday surprised me. Had some nice volatility. Hold on. Only 10 o'clock on that. There it is. So yesterday had some nice little volatility. Nice little... Uh, 1,400, that's uh, almost 1,458 pips drop right there. So 1,458 pip drop from uh, London Open. And then after the W formation, if you caught the breakout, so you got the W formation right here. All right. W formation, slanted it up. Broke the high, closed by the high here. You know what I'm saying? Had a nice little, that's a 700, you know, just, just up to the zone. Itself right there was over 532 pips. So some nice little movement yesterday. Like it took a little while to pick up some volatility after we get out the call. But after we got out the call, like it started making some moves. So not bad. Got it laid on GK, but it got a couple pips. Nice, nice, nice. That's all that matters, man. Work on, you know, uh, that discipline though. Sometimes you can get in late and it'll burn you. All right. So you got to make sure you make sure you're getting on, getting in on time. All right. Timing is key. When you trade, and if you miss, you miss your time to get in. Um, you know, unless you're, you know, you're, you're willing to take that risk. Uh, sometimes it's best just to sit back and let it play out. Have you heard about sentiment analysis? Yes, I have heard about sentiment analysis. I don't, uh, I don't look at enough sentiment to make analysis. So, you know, um, the way I've been talked or taught about sentiment analysis is, is, is more based on a lot of the economic news, uh, but then also what's going on in the economy, you know, uh, that won't show up in the economic news calendars, like my FX book and uh, Forex Factory, but just stuff that's going on, like with, you know, Japan and, or the Great Britain and things of that nature, you know, the US, US, the United States. So, you know, that, that type of uh, understanding what's going on in the economy, the news that you won't see on these, you know, websites like my FX book, stuff like that, understanding that will, uh, that will uh, allow for 
the opportunity to you know really have you know a, a good gist of sentiment. Uh, sentiment also comes from you know understanding about you know uh, that actual currency. You know if there's things going on with that specific currency. You know like the government is printing more money, i.e. the United States. Um, so things of that nature. You know just the more news you have about the country uh, for that specific currency pair, more information you have about what's going on with that currency. Uh, for that particular currency pair, you know, just any information. So yeah, I've heard about it. Uh, for me, I don't, um, I don't. Uh, it's not, it's not a style of trading that I've, I've um, adopted. You know, most people that I know that are sentiment traders, they uh, swing trade. So they're looking for uh, nice entries, and then based on news, they're looking to to have uh, long positions. So they may hold a position for a couple weeks, a couple months. Uh, you know, on a particular currency pair, you know, uh, based off of sentimental news and sentimental information, you know, of, of what's going on in, you know, with that particular currency or in that country. Uh, I'm more of a scalper. You know, I like the quick scalps. If I'm catching, if I catch more than 20 pips at a time, it's typically because I'm trading, uh, you know, German 30 or, you know, crypto or some indice or, or even gold. Uh, but typically I'm looking for 20 pips. And if I catch 50 pips because of the, because of the indicator. Uh, so that, you know, not really my style, but I have heard about it. Uh, it's always good to understand what's going on though with, uh, with news and what's going on with, you know, particular currency pairs. All right. So we've gone through the G pairs, Euro GBP. Definitely trending up after that W formation we talked about last night and drew up. I know some people jumped in on that trade we talked about at this time, you know, I told everybody it would be good for a quick 10 pips. And I believe it hit 10 pips like 30 minutes after I said that. Um, and it kept on going. So for those who held that, congrats. Um, I am not a fib master, but we will look at the fib from the previous swing low to the current swing high. All right. We're gonna make this pullback. You can see the uh, 200 moving average pretty far away, but the 200 moving average is sitting right here at that 50 level of the of the uh, of the fib. So not much to see there. You have to wait for a price to come back to a particular fib level. I know some of you guys like the 23.6. Uh, I like more the 38, 50, and 61.8 myself. Uh, Euro AUD been booming. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that Q&A question. Oh. Uh, so my classes, the so question was about, uh, I talked about uh, a little while ago, taking training from a hedge fund manager uh, or a hedge, hedge fund trader. So not a manager, a hedge fund trader. And so, yeah, my training is over. Um, of course, I, I can go back uh, and get, you know, uh, you know, ask questions. And we've had some, you know, uh, me and the hedge fund trader have had some uh, opportunities to talk even after my training, you know, about some things. Um, but no, my, my training is over with now. Uh, but, you know, I can always reach back out to, 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 my, to that mentor, you know, and learn, you know. Uh, but what I've learned, I've learned, uh, you know, I've learned a lot. Now it's just a matter of taking that and implementing that, uh, you know, continuously until I get to the point where I'm consistent uh, and significantly more profitable. All right. Then I, you know, that was prior to. So, Definitely learned a lot. You know, the goal now for me is trying to figure out uh, how to blend everything I learned with what I already know uh, so that I can, you know, be a better version of myself. All right. But yeah, training went well. Uh, training went real well. Uh, I go back and watch the recordings often, you know, to pick up on things. All right. So you can see here, it's been a full almost two days since the last arrow. Uh, I can tell you based on what I know of the strategy, until price pulls back uh, significantly, there will not be another arrow. Uh, so it's going to be you need a significant pullback. Uh, you know, even one where you see an arrow in the opposite direction, so a down arrow. Uh, so your eye is just out of this world right now. Your JPY sitting at a very strong level of support right now. See what happens once there's some volatility in the market, some volume. Euro NZD gave a signal. 
But uh, you know, I'm not looking at that, that down signal. Look at that. So it's a strong uptrend. Not much going on right now. And Bitcoin, chilling. All right. Stop sharing. Let's check the chat here. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. GU breaking Asia channel. All right. Let's go look at GU. GU breaking Asia channel. Yep. GU is breaking Asia channel. All right, might be a good trade. Let's look at it. Let's go to H1. We got 11 minutes. All right, it's got to close. Oh, so here on the H1, currently right now, the low of Asia is only call it 18 pips away from the zone there. All right, but I can tell you. There is an order block as well sitting right here, right here on top of. So in between, in between uh, the bottom of Asia and the aero support zone set. So order block sitting there as well. So definitely a good spot for price to turn around. But we'll keep it, we'll keep our eye. Like I said the overall trend is down strongly. So uh, you know, could be good, could be a good trade. I'd look for this uh the zone to disappear and price, like I said, to close below. All right. Let's go take a look here. We still have, oh, no, we don't. Now we're three and three. We got three pairs trending up, three pairs trending down now. So GPNZD was trending down, now it's trending up. All right. That GPNZD is now trending up. All right. Hmm. GJ trending down, GU trending down, GA, GN trending up. And we'll slide that one over there. Boom. So GJ, GU, G Chef trending down, GA, GN, GCAD all trending up. What did you look at? That G Chef? G Chef pushing down. Trying to break that Asia low. Let's see. What does it look like? 46 pips. Let's go to H1. Got a couple people in the chat. G use at a daily support level. Yep, G Chef looks good for sale. Hey, my man, UCAD. Yes, we'll go over that UCAD. G Chef. G Chef is looking right. You're right about that. Got a lot of good room down here. A lot of good room. So we'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye on it. G Chef might have to get this business. Let's go back here. G Chef trending down. Pretty clear. All right. G Chef might be that move, especially if it closes below the previous low that I already broke through. AJ Channel might be good. So we'll keep an eye on G Chef. We got eight minutes. We'll keep an eye on GU. And we'll keep an eye on GJ because GJ didn't broke below Asia for the second time. All right. We'll keep an eye on those three. We'll keep an eye on these three. GI didn't hit a double top area right here. So it could be looking to trend down. GN is consolidating right now in between these two zones. And then GCAD, it peaked somewhere. Probably hit an order block somewhere right here and now it's reversing. So we'll have to keep an eye on that one. All right, my brother Wolf wants to look at USD CAD. All right, USD CAD. G Chef melting. What were your thoughts on German 30? Uh, I don't have any thoughts on German 30 right now. No thoughts. We got 22 minutes until London open, so we'll take a look at it here shortly. So UCAD been booming straight up for days. Let's go take a look over here. UCAD. I know I got it up here somewhere. There it is. Yep, peak formation low happened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days ago. 
And then after it happened, one, two, three days later, you had the up arrow. So the bot took a trade right here. Seven pip drawdown. And you can clearly see, you know, it's been it's up over 372 pips now. Easy money. It's been, been straight up. Been straight up. So uh, it's, yeah, we're over five day ADR. We're over five times ADR. So it's it's time for reversal. But at the end of the day, um, you know, there has been a lot of CAD news. All right, let's go take a look at that as well. There has been a lot of CAD news. We don't really look at CAD news very often, but there has been a lot of CAD news as of late. All right, so it wouldn't surprise me to see the Canadian dollar continue to uh, weaken uh, versus USD, which is a surprise, especially for uh, USD. But you see, 8.30 a.m., you got orange and yellow folder uh, Canadian news. All right. My fix book. Yep. You got green, yellow, and red folder CAD news. All right. So, wouldn't surprise me to see uh, the Canadian dollar weaken, you know, against the U.S. dollar uh, as it has been. That's why prices is moving up because the U.S. dollar is getting stronger. Remember, all right, remember, here's the trick to understanding which one is getting stronger. All right. If price is moving, you got the, you see the pair, the four is pairs, USD, CAD. It's the United States dollar versus the Canadian dollar. If price is moving up, then the currency pair at the front is getting stronger. And the currency pair at the back end is getting weaker. All right. The currency pair on the front is the base. The currency pair on the back end is the quote, the quote pair. So the base pair, which is the very first three letters, USD for this, current, this particular pair, all right, if price goes up, the US dollar is getting stronger. If price is going down, the US dollar is getting weaker. That's it, that's all you gotta be worried about. And then you just know if that's the case for all pairs, then the opposite is true. Meaning that if price has been going up for so long, that means the US dollar is gaining strength versus the Canadian dollar, which means what? It means the total opposite for the Canadian dollar versus the US dollar. So the CAD, the Canadian dollar is weakening against the US dollar because prices are going up. All right. That's the quick and dirty way to understand that. Uh, right now, yeah, where we are it's significantly overbought. I mean, even, even from a market maker standpoint, it is almost at six times its ADR. Um, but you got a lot more yellow and red photo news coming out. So it wouldn't surprise me to see it continue to run up. What I do is wait for uh, it to melt. Because at the end of the day, when you have prices, going one direction for this long, you know, especially beyond our ADR, uh, you know, you are looking for, you know, the opportunity for potential reversal. So, uh, but you need that setup. You need that setup. Um, chat here. USD cat going to the moon, retail sales. Nate really enjoyed saying that. Saying what, Lenny? What you talking about, man? Ooh, blue past that previous high. Blue past this goes to H4. All right, yeah, yeah, we're inside of a, we're sitting at a uh, very strong support area right now. All right, on the H4 and on the date chart. Yeah, you got a little, got a little area right here. A little area of interest. All right, little area of interest right there. I can definitely see, you know, potentiality. I'm on the day chart. If price breaks above this area, it's gone. It's gone. The 1.300 area, 1.300 area, 1.3 area, just 1.3. If it breaks above that, is this daily zone. Look for it to continue to rise higher. Look for it to continue to rise higher. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Got a pretty strong level of uh, uh, resistance that is getting ready to come hit. You can see this resistance. I can stretch this resistance out. You know, you can see which, what once was a support area. You can see it touched here, got pretty close there, came into it there, there, there. All right, real strong area right there. All right, that's gonna be the test. Do we get a reversal off this area, back down, or? 
you'll get a break above. So if we get a break in the retest at that 1.3 area and you get a bullish move, yeah, look for it to go higher. So that's kind of my thoughts on the United States dollar versus the Canadian dollar, uh, especially with all the news coming out. You know, and then, of course, you want to look at, you know, when Sunday comes, you want to look at the, uh, look to see, you know, uh, some platforms will allow you to do it. Uh, what the upcoming news is. So you can actually look at news for the full week and understand how we're going to have more Canadian news, all right? More news, you know, I continue to drive it in one direction. It also doesn't help the Canadian dollar that an election was called this week in Canada. There it is. Like I said, so understanding what's going on in the economy itself also helps understand and drive the understanding of why price continues to do things you're not expecting it to do, all right? When an arrow pops up for a bag entry, does that mean two EMAs just crossed over? Uh, no. I've talked about it plenty of times on this call uh, and, in my, and in my videos, my training videos. Every arrow, uh, one arrow, there's three different types of arrows. There's three different strategies behind the arrows. So there are three types of arrows that pop up. There's a counter trend arrow, there's a uh, confirmation trend, and a continuation trend arrow. All right? One arrow, I'm not going to tell you which one, there needs to be seven confirmations. Seven different things have to happen all at the same time for the arrow to pop up. The other two, it's eight. So if two EMAs cross, that doesn't, I don't, that doesn't mean anything to me. There's seven confirmations for one arrow, eight different confirmations for two arrows, the other two arrows. All right, so like I said, so people ask that, it's not a simple crossover strategy, trust me. Trust me on that. I wrote the code. I can tell you it's not. Uh, we got a notification. Let's go take a look at the chart. Let's go see what we got on the chart here. Euro NZD for the buy. Euro NZD for the buy. We are in the uptrend, but it's right there at the zone. I ain't touching it. All right, so we got a close below on GJ, but it's sitting in the zone. GU close below, but it's sitting in the zone. G chef close below. No zone. G odd trying to push up. GN trying to push up. And now you got G odd with a G cat trying to push back up. And of course, it's three and three. And you see that GN was just at 10, now it's at 20. I don't like it, guys. I don't like it. I hate when it's divided like this. It's three and three business. Because if it wasn't divided, I can tell you, man, that GJ, that GU, and the G Chef, well, I'd be in sales right now. Mm -mm -mm. We'll see. These might be good scalps here in a minute. I'm going to give it another 15 minutes. So we'll, we'll see what happens when London session volume comes in. I'm not going to make a move now. I'm not going to jump into it. I'm divided right now. With you can see the other three pairs moving up. Right now, they're, they're divided. So when they're divided, I, 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 you, know, you guys know me. I stick to my rules. Sometimes they play out for me. Sometimes they don't. Right now, I'm gonna stick to my rules. You got three pushing up, pushing up strongly. Look at that, pushing up strongly. Then you got three slowly pushing down. You can see the ones that are pushing up stronger. Uh, I mean, the ones that are pushing up, pushing up. Oh, no, they start to pick up a little steam now. Good Lord, GJ. What is that? 14 pips already. Mm, mm, mm. GU. E chef. Mm. I'm not going to chase it. This is me. I'm not going to chase it. German 30. Chat. 30 pips on your ad. Congrats, man. Got in on strat four. On uh, E U R A U D. No, oh, man. Congrats. Congrats. Nice little move up. Nice. Nice. Keep your hit on GJ 20 pips. Congrats, Julian. GJ move real quick. That's what I love about the G pairs. Euro NGD just hit my TP. Bad, congrats, man. Euro NZD, Euro NZD. Oh, that bag entry. Yeah, that bag entry. For me, I definitely wouldn't take it because of that, uh, that zone's too close, but you can see that. 
Yeah, ran up 20 pips. Got to be more careful. Mm -hmm. That just happened. I just said I wasn't going to take it like two, three minutes ago because it was too close to the zone. All right. And look what happened. It ran up easy 20 pips. Well, it wasn't easy 20 pips, but it, it ran up 20 pips. All right. Dirty 30. I'm going to check the chat. Got some pips on 20 on EN. Got in early. Well, y'all love getting in early, man. Yeah, I love getting in early. All right, so let's uh, let's go to default. We'll go blank chart right now on the dirty thirty. We're gonna see what we got here. Boom, boom, boom. up here like so show where that gap is that high of asia right there high of asia session i'm gonna call this the low of asia session for now until it changes it's changing colors Chat. Q you Asia break out on M5. All right, cool. It already broke out on the 15 minute beforehand, so. Right on this way. So we don't get rid of all of our. We don't get rid of all of our drawings. Right, boom. All right. So let's go down to the five minutes. A little bit more. So, so we see in the five minute, we are in a downtrend still. One minute, we're still in a downtrend. Nope. Yep, downtrend. We got four red, two green. 15 minute, we are now officially in a downtrend. All right. M30, we are still in the uptrend. H1, uptrend. H4, uptrend. D1, uptrend. Week one. All right, ain't going that far. So now, yesterday, we had the minute one and the minute five that were in a downtrend. That's all. Now we've got the minute one, the minute five, and the 15 minute that are all saying downtrend. So the more time frames that are showing downtrend, the stronger that trend is. But in a day, let's gotta see how things react. All right, somebody says something about some GU. G to the UZ. Zone disappeared. It was trying to push down, now it's trying to push back up. Yeah, look at that GJ pulling all the way back up. G Chef starting to pull back up. GI still pushing up. 
GN is trying to pull back. Uh, these things, they all over the place, man. GCAT still trying to push up. All right. Chat. TJ just broke the zone on M15. Yep. But it's pulling back. Pull back pretty hard. Gave you 20 pips and took it all right back. So if you didn't TP, you are now either back near break even or you are um, yeah, you either broke even or you, 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 if you're still holding, you're in the negative. All right. That's why I stick to my guns. You could have got a quick little 20. Congrats to those who got. But for me, I stick to my guns. Like I said, I've been doing it for a while. Look at that. Three trending up, three trending down. I don't like it. Uh, GN, getting pretty close to trending back down again. Well, uh, just all over the place. All over the place. Hmm. Here we got some arrows here on the five minute. Oh, German 30. Got an up arrow. All right. Not touching no arrows right now. Let's see how it plays out. The Bitcoin doing nothing. I don't like the cryptos, man. They're not, uh, they don't have uh, specific times of day. Like, I don't know how you guys. But you guys that consistently catch pips on the cryptos, I don't know how y'all do it, man, because, uh, man, it'll be a random Friday night at 11.15 and take off. Or it'll be a random Tuesday at 3.30 in the afternoon and it'll take off to the downside. Like, man, I, some of you guys just be on the charts all day long. I don't know how y'all do it. Unless you're just monitoring every time an arrow pops up. Mm -hmm. yeah the cryptos they just they don't have you know like i, I love the g pairs like you, you know they you know they move best during london session so i know from 1 a.m central standard time to about 6 a.m central standard time 7 a.m at five six hours right there I'm, I'm i know during that time i should get some movement on the g pairs you know that's 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 when they're trading the most uh but the crypto will be all over the place man Somebody teach me the system. Please teach me the system. All right. Let's see what I got to say. No, nobody in Q&A. Laugh a lot, don't sleep. Man, I like my sleep too much, man. I got a three-year-old. Gotta sleep, man. He's a handful. Too much energy. Too much energy. All right. So we got three minutes until London open. All right. Three minutes until London open. So let's take a look at the charts. Get ready to see what that German 30 is going to do. A couple comments in the chat. Let's see here. What does that show you say? Oh. All right. Man up. First Peter. Read up. Read on First Peter. I went to a, uh, uh, it was a uh, conference uh, about for, for men of faith. All right. Saeed said five out of six are now in downstream. So based on the daily open, we got. Three out of six are in, in downtrend. Uh, but yeah, if you look at the overall trends, yeah, GJ's in a downtrend, GU, G Chef. Uh, well, the, uh, nah, it's, it's even right. Even, even on, if you look at the week, you know, you got three there in the uptrends, GI, GN. Yeah, we went with this earlier. You got three there in downtrend. So just uh, all over the place right now. So I like, I like correlation, you know, for those who understand what I'm doing, uh, I like to see correlation. Oh, look at that G-Chef. 
still making trying to make his move. G Chef broke below that previous low. We could see it could be a nice little move on that G Chef. Might be looking to get into that G Chef here at London Open. Might be looking to get into that one. You see everything starting to pull back. But like I said, this thing, these things happen. And you guys know we've been watching it, you know, for the last, I don't know how many weeks, where we got a you know a pullback right before um right before London. And then London happens and it continues in the direction that it was going in the first place. All good, man. All good, all good. So that G ship though. It's the only one. Yeah, everything else pulling back. G ship pushing. Push it to the limit. Look at that. G odd pulling back. G in pulling back. Only G Cat and G Chef are the only two pushing. G Cat, yeah, you already got your 20 pips. Your 20 pips and dip. G Chef pushing now. Hmm. And then the dirty 30. Yeah, man, unclear. I don't like unclear. There it is. It's now London Open. All right, London Open. So let's let me try to find the mid of Asia. All right, boom, boom, boom. We'll put it right there. Look at fib. All right, so we know this is the fifty percent level of. Of Asia channel, get the high and the low. Look at that lack of volatility, man. It's terrible, man. I can tell you, US 30 does not move like this at New York. It moves. This is look at the G shift, though. Man, I am. I'll tell you guys now, I'm uh, I'm entering the cell on that G shift. I'm in the cell on that G shift. Strategy three, a little late to the party, but we got a uh, the break of Asia, the pullback, and then we got the break of the break. So it broke the low, the previous low. So I'm going on that one. That G cat doing. J. Yeah. G chef. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, makes it easy, man. Make one trade on, on a little small account here, and it copies on all your other accounts. That way you ain't got to worry about doing nothing but monitoring. You guys ever noticed Jackie did the same thing? She traded at 0.01, but then you see her have other accounts that have bigger trades on them. And you're like, how you do that? You got that trade copy. Those trade copy accounts. All right. Get these 20 pips here, 20 pips and dip. 20 pips and dip. Look at that, man. I'm not doing squat. Not nah, doing a squat. Squat that I leave it alone. Yeah, I'm going to go one for one, guys. I'm going to go 20 pip take profit, 20 pip stop loss. We're going to make this a tight one. Just be glad in late. I'm not gonna sit here and risk a full 40 pips. So one one for one, eye for an eye.
pushing down. GJ pushing down. They might be a good place too. It looks like it is one here. All right, let's start sharing. I got some questions and answer. All right, which trade card do you use? How much does it cost per month? Uh, so I use, uh, let me just pull it up for you guys. And it costs different prices depending on how many accounts. So they charge you based on how many accounts you are monitoring. But uh, I use this trade copy right here. It's a web-based, all right? Social trader tools, all right? So it's web-based, meaning that uh, all I do is I go into the system software, I type in my account, that's the master account, and then I type in all the other accounts they're gonna trade off of me. They're gonna copy from me, I should say. And then I, based on their, the, the account size, um, on other accounts, I will change the multiplier. So for example, uh, on my, on this account, I put a 0.01, but on my small $5,000, uh, what is this? My small $5,000, um, um, funded account that I'm a few $300 away, uh, from getting it to 20,000, uh, getting it upgraded from 5,000 to 20,000. Uh, I use a 0.1. So it's, it has a, a 10 multiplier on it. So I use a 0 0.01 on the account that I have that you guys just saw. But then when it copied, it copied over to the other account with a 0.1. So the multiplier on that was times 10. And then I've got another account that is even higher than that uh, based on its account size. And if I add more accounts, I just adjust the multiplier of the lot size to be you know, either the same or higher. Uh, you know, whenever you do a trade, whenever you do a, a, you know, a, a trade copier, you always, to make it simple, you want to have your smallest account be the main account you trade. That way, when you're doing your multiplier, you're always doing a multiplier up because you can't go backwards. At least not this, this platform doesn't allow you to, like I can't trade a $100,000 account and then have a $10,000 account hooked up to it mimicking trades. It doesn't work that way because it doesn't allow you to adjust the lot size to be lower. Um, so Social Trader Tools is the platform that I utilize and it varies depending on how many accounts. They allow you to, uh, with this platform, they allow you to go up to 10,000 accounts, which is crazy. She literally mentioned it on yesterday's call. Okay, cool. But the cool thing about them is they're, um, they are uh, web-based, meaning that, let's say, you know, there's 86 people on the call. So let's say all 86 of you guys hook up to my account. Your computer could be off that you trade on. And it doesn't matter if I make a trade, your account makes a trade because it's web-based. So that's what I like about it. You don't have to have your, there's some platforms, uh, trade copy platforms that, you know, if I'm trading your account for you uh, or your account is copying off my account, then your computer that your account is trading, is copying off of, it has to be open with that account number open. So this makes it a lot easier for, it's web-based. Like you can literally go on vacation for a week and never look at your account and then come back and look at it and see, you know, uh, you know the trade that copied to it and all that. So. That's the, the, the cool part about it because it's web-based. That's why I mainly use it is because of the web-based. And it's pretty, pretty user-friendly. Pretty user-friendly. Love to copy your account. <laughs> hey, hey, those who are joining the, uh, uh, the Manifest 7, hey, you know, you know, we all want to copy each other. So we're going to all copy each other and go all have, all have some fun. So we got a few people in there right now. I'm going to go through after this call, try to add a few more. If I haven't got to you yet, be patient. I'll get to you. Um, a lot of people trying to get in. A lot of people asking questions. So some people I haven't even got to because you know I'm, I'm answering some questions for some people. All right, and we'll get we'll get it we'll get everybody in there. And if you don't get in there right away, that's cool. Because at the end of the day, you know we're uh, at the end of the day, you know you jump on this week, great. You jump on next week, great. You jump on two months from now, great. All right. I've got a program set up. Look at this. Not doing squat. Or not doing squat. But I got a program set up so that you guys understand, uh, you know, what to do no matter what. So, all right. So it doesn't matter what level you're at. All right. So don't feel bad if you, if you don't start at the same time. Because no matter what, I got, I got a system that we're going to utilize so that everybody knows, depending on what level you're at, you know what lot size to use, you know, all the parameters, yada, 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 yada. Everything will be there for you. It'll be real simple. Um, so those who start this week, um, it'll be a little bumpy as we try to figure things out to make things smooth. But I think 
I think what we're going to roll out make it pretty easy. Matter of fact, we'll probably do, I'll probably do a call Sunday for those who can make it. You know, uh, we'll probably do a call for those who are in the group to start the week off next week. Uh, just to, you know, everybody can chat and, you know, kind of, you know, everybody get on the same playing field, understand how things are going to work out. Uh, and we'll go from there, you know. Uh, we're going to have some fun. Got to have some fun. The road to 2 million starts next week. I've been waiting for this for a while. The road to 2 million starts next week. All right. Road to 2 million. That's the goal to get to 2 million. There is no deadline for joining. We just, just talked about that. You can join, you know, whenever you, whenever you get the opportunity to start your account, you can join. Uh, no, you can't send me your account, oh, your account details. This is this guy. What is the deadline for joining the range? Joining on Monday. If you join Monday, cool. All right. There is no deadline. You can join whenever you, whenever you have the opportunity to pay for the fee and get set up, then you can join. If you join six months from now, that's fine. All right. All you have to do is once you join, send me a copy or a screenshot of your email confirmation that you got or that you are set up. Uh, that way I know you're not just, you know, BSing me. Uh, and then, um, then I'll add it to the group and we'll go from there. How much can we have in an account? Uh, so for those who don't know, this is how manifest works. So once you pay the fee, you will start off like everybody else, with a $15,000 live account, all right? Once you hit the profit target, you move to level two, which is a 60,000 account. Hit the profit target and so forth and so on, you go from 15,000 to 60, 120, 240, 480, 960, 2 million. And the crazy thing is, you have a whole year on this first level, a whole year, a whole year. Like literally, you have a year to get to a thousand dollars so that you can get to the next level. All right. So you know it's real lenient. It's real money. All right. And the goal is for us to be uh, precise. You know, we're not going to use crazy big lot sizes. Like on this first level, they say you know the max lot lot size you can use is the 0.75. We're not going to use anywhere near that. All right. Because if we take a loss, you know, we want to make sure that we're not coming anywhere close to this. You got to you know the one thing about these prop you know prop firms, uh, you know, like I talked about yesterday is not getting to the profit target as fast as possible. Uh, of course you wanna get there as fast as possible, but if you try to get there super fast, you'll find yourself over leveraging your account and then the opportunity comes where you get stopped out. You know, or you, you violate one of the, the um, you violate one of the um, um, money management uh, rules and then boom, your account's gone. We don't want that. So we're gonna use very conservative lot sizes uh, and the goal is to get there. I mean, you can use a 0.25 which is a third of the 0.75 and you make a thousand dollars, thousand fifty dollars. So, um, so yeah, so we'll see, you know, the goal is to, for me, in my mind, the goal is that we achieve one level every month. So that's my, that's my, my personal goal is every month to get to the next level, to get to the next level. So every four weeks, every four weeks, I want to be able to get to the next level. This first level is only 7%. Then everything else is 12.5. Like, all right, cool, 12.5, which means that we got to hit 3.125% each week, which is very conservative, guys, very conservative. 3% a week, very conservative. All right, and that's kind of that's kind of the goal that I'm shooting, aiming for. Uh, and and we'll, 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 uh, we're going to manage it. We hit 3.125%, 3.2%, 4%. We're done for the week. All right, we're done. Wait till next week. All right, we're gonna take our time. We're not gonna rush anything. We're not gonna over leverage. We're gonna work as a team. And the goal is where 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 are we in? August. So let's say we'll start from September. September, October, November, December, January, February, March. The goal is by March, spring break, two million dollar account by next year. That's the goal. That's my goal. My goal is by spring break, March of next year, to have a two million dollar account. And man, some some would draw, would draw from a previous account, you know, celebrate and be on a beach somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yes, yeah, so it's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Like I said, for me, you know, I could be a, that mentor that does this on our, on its own on my own and get to a you know four hundred eight thousand dollar account and then brag to everybody that I got there, or we can all have fun. Join the team. We all get there. 
I'd rather 99 other people post if they got their 480 than me post by myself. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's not fun until we all can have some. So I look forward to I look forward to the journey. Again, there's no guarantees. No guarantees, but we're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun. Uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun. And it looks like looks like G-Chef going the wrong way on this. Got to be more careful. Down 15 pips. Got a 20 pip stop loss, 20 pip take profit. Where would another 20 pips be at? 40 pips would be right here. Hmm. At the bottom of previous money that own. Not worried about it. Leave it at 20. Leave it at 20, 20, 20, 20. What a one to one. German 30 for the sale. What are Dirty 30 doing? Not doing squat. Not doing squat. Not doing a squat. TK pushing up. Up 14. She in. That's all day. G odd stuck in that zone. G chef playing with us. Come on, G chef. G U pulling back up. G J pulling back up. Bullish and golfing. Off that doji. All right, let's take a look at the QA. A bunch of QA. How do you join? Uh, you go to the website. Uh, and once you sign up, then you, like I said, you just send me a screenshot of your email confirmation. All right, let me add the link. I will add the link into the chat here so that you guys can join. All right, boom. Check the chat here on on Telegram. I mean, on uh, not Telegram, but on on, uh, on the Zoom call for the link. How do you join? Sorry, I just sent it. I just sent the link. Do you want to call the website of Manifest Seven again? I just sent the link. All right, so you guys got that, all right? With only 86 on the call, you should do the 5K giveaway right now. Yeah, no, we will do it right now. They, I, you have to go to the website. Put that, guys, they start you off with a $15,000 account. You don't trade your own money. Prop firms, go do your home. You guys got to do your research. So go to the website. I posted it. Uh, someone else posted it as well. Go to the website and do your research. Find out what a prop firm is for those who don't know it. Now, if you don't know what it is, don't even talk about joining it. Don't ask about what the account size should be because they start you off with the account size they want you to start off with depending on what prop firm you're going with, all right? Go do your homework on this. If you don't know what a prop firm is, all right, that you can learn. Can you show us the currency strength meter on G Chef? Yeah, should we take a look at it? Always, yep, Chris Mir, always read the information on the website. Understand what's going on. G Chef, Chef is definitely stronger than G GP right now. Which we can see because price is trending what up and gp is the base pair so if price is trending up gp is getting stronger than chef which is definitely the opposite of what's going on right here now hmm maybe this is a little delayed it's got to be a little delayed 
because this right here would indicate that we are trending down hard and we're not or are we let's go back and look take a look let's go back take a look let's go back and take a look now down 12 pips so it's heading back in the right direction the right direction all right got to check here yeah, David, brought man. Hey, always make sure you do your homework. Guys, to do your homework. Uh, I do remember these calls were pushing almost 300. Yeah, Looney, man. We got to get back to that level, man. Got to get back to that level. Can you please post a link to the website here in this window? Uh, we already did. Scroll up, please, in the chat. And exactly where you just asked that question, it was already posted twice. Please uh, scroll up so that you can see that. Uh, you don't see the link? Check the chat, not the Q&A. Check the chat. Uh, what time will you be trading? Don't know. I'll trade when I get when I get it set up. There are no exact times. Guys, there are no rules to this. This is just like trading. We're going to trade the foreign exchange market, which means guess what? If we get a trade at 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm up, I'm going to take the trade. I'll send it to the group. If you miss it, that's fine. If we get a trade at 6 o'clock in the afternoon, it's a good setup. I'll take the trade. I'll make sure the group knows about it. If you take it, great. If you don't, that's fine. It's going to be more than enough trades. So don't worry about the small things. The number one thing you focus on, as we talked about yesterday, all right, is risk management. Trying to understand how many trades there's going to be, when there are going to be trades, how much money we're going to make, what's the profit split. If you worry about all that and you don't understand the risk management, you're already a failure. You will fail. These prop firms are all about risk management. No one's ever asked me a risk management question yet. It's always about when we're going to get trades. How many trades a day? How many trades a week? What's the profit split? How much money can we make? It's all you guys ask about. And I'm telling you, everyone that focuses on the money are the ones that are not consistent in trading. You focus on two things. Number one, risk management. Number two, being consistent at catching pips in the positive. That's it. To make more money, you just adjust your lot size. Once you master risk management, number one, and number two, once you master a strategy that consistently helps you catch pips, then all you have to do is adjust your lot size and the money comes. All right? I'm telling you guys, I've been doing this too long, not just Forex. Stocks, equities, ETFs, you name it. Everything that's out there, I've traded it. Bonds, yields, I've traded it all. Risk management, catching pips. Everything else is, means nothing. If you can't master those two, don't even bother asking about the rest. You will fail if you don't master those two in that order. Been doing this too long, guys. Been doing it too long. Forgot number three, having fun. Gotta always have fun. Always have fun. Is this for a new person as well? It's for anybody that wants to join. Correct, Garrett. You do not have to trade every day. I, I mean, today's the first day we took a trade. On this on the call. We're taking trades after the call, took trade before the call. Uh that was posted in the group. But it's the first time we have to take a trade on the call all week. Haven't taken any GER 30 trades. Haven't taken any. Like it's finally trying to move down though. But yeah, you don't have to take a trade every day. Now, I'm not going to take a trade every day. I can tell you, especially as we start to level up and get to some of these higher levels. Oh my goodness. Once we get to 120K, oh man. I'm not looking to trade every day. We're going to take precise trades. Let's hit 3, 4% a week. Done. We hit 3, 4% by. Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, I don't, know. don't look for no more trades the rest of the week. We'll start over next week. All right, start over next week. Take our time. I'm telling you, it's a pretty penny. I think it's like $797 to, to start an account with, with uh, Manifest. All right, you start off with a $15,000 live account. All right, but if you are worried about how many, you know, getting to the, the next level really fast and how much money you're going to make, and, and, and how many trades, then you might just give me that $800. Just go ahead and mail it to me. Uh, send it to me in Bitcoin. I'll give you my address. 
because you will lose your account. You will lose your account. You'll blow it, and then you find out that you lost the account. And now you're trying to figure out how to get your $800 back. My number one goal, my number one goal is to make sure everybody masters risk management at every level. All right, that's number one. The number two goal is to make sure that uh, everyone uh, makes their money back. All right, so to do so, to do so, we must achieve. Well, let's go take a look at the uh, website. All right, so on the website. All right, so at the first level, once we get past level one to level two, the profit target is 1,050. Profit split is 40% because this first level is kind of like your challenge phase like the other platforms have. So 40% of 1,050, all right, do the exact math. That is only 420 bucks. So we are $377 short, all right? So the goal is, and the beautiful thing is about Manifest, let's say you only do 5% at the next level. So 5% of 60,000 is what? 5% of 60,000 is $3,000. You get to keep 50%, which is 1,500 bucks. So my goal is to get everyone to level two and to make at least $1,000 on level two. Because that'll get you 500 bucks because you get to keep 50%. All right. That thousand bucks, so 6,100, if you took a, you took a withdrawal then, at that point, you made 420 here and 500 there. You made your money back in the end zone. That is my goal to get everyone to, to 61,000. All right. That's my number two goal. Number one goal is to understand risk management. I got a plan presented for you guys that you guys understand risk management at every level. All right. Number two goal to help you guys ensure you get your money back, your investment, $797. Number three goal, two million. <laughs> after that, the road to two million. That's it, get two million after that. That's number three goal, all right? But the first two are the ones I'm concentrating on, and we're gonna be conservative. Not gonna be no crazy, you know, taking 20 trades a day, and yeah, we're not doing none of that. Not doing none of that, we're gonna take our time. We're gonna be conservative. You know what I'm saying? Have you noticed all week, all my uh, all my trades have been what? Conservative. All right. Look at this. Only down four pips now. Went up, come right back down. Trust the process. Didn't move to stop loss, nothing like that. Trust the process. Look for that drop to happen. All right. Being conservative. I could have put this up as we, you know, when we, we were down 17 pips. I could have put it up to 40 and then and gave you some elaborate, you know, uh, uh, reason of why I did it. But I already told you guys, I'm gonna do one for one, 20, 20 and 20. I'm sticking to that. Very rarely do I move my stop loss. For those who've been on this call with me, very rarely do I move stop loss. We put it where we put it. And the goal, you know, if anything, I'm moving my take profit. All right. So that's the goal, guys. Gonna have a lot of fun. Gonna have a lot of fun. How much are you going to risk per trade for manifest? If you join a group, you'll know. All right? It's different at each level. So once those who join the group will know. Are you doing a 1,000 pip calls like before? If we can get 1,000 pips in a week, we can get it. Uh, you know, we can get it. Oh, God, you manifest seven AP trade room. Ah. So I can tell you guys, those who are doing the manifest seven with challenge with me, we have a private Telegram channel. Manifest 7 will only be for the Telegram channel. That's it. That's it. Now, of course, trades that I take on London session, I'll take on the Manifest call, on a, you know, but that's it. I mean, for the most part, anybody that you know, will know all the information about Manifest has to be in the group. If you're not in the group, no reason to talk to you. You got to be in the group. Got to be in the group. All right, risk management. Gotta love it. All right, fourth goal is going on holiday with the group. Raj, I, I like that idea. Man, we may, let's go take a look at that, man. We may, we, we may need to go do that one day. What's a good, what's a good profit target for that though? You know what? I like that idea, man. I like that. Mm. And you know what? I'm gonna say, once we get to the half a million account, we're going on vacation. So once we clear 240 and hit that 30,000, 
which means you get to keep 50%, which is 15,000. Everybody should have enough money to put to the side at that point, just off this payout right here to go on a little vacation somewhere. Uh, hopefully by that point, uh, this will be, it's probably be around December. No, we might need to do it in January. So probably early next year, if we're somewhere in this 24480 range, I think that'd be a good time to go on vacation. You know, and everybody can get together and we can go. I mean, by that time, shoot, you know, we, you know, you know, we can take a weekend, take a whole week. But yeah, I like that idea. So once we get to the 480, we're going on vacation. That's the goal. That's goal number four. I like that goal. I like that goal. We go all on vacation, everybody in the group, uh, and we go to a, you know, island and, you know, we'll have some fun. Uh, do some and do some trading live. It's always fun to trade live, man. I may be in Atlanta next week, so AP Live Atlanta is next week. All right. Uh, AP Live Miami is September the sixteenth, and then AP Live Dallas is October the twenty sixth. All right. Uh, I will be in Miami for sure. I can tell you that in Miami is when I will be revealing all the information about Arrow five point oh. And then the release of Arrow 5.0 will be the following week, September 24th, on my birthday. All right? But yeah, I like that, Raj, man. That's good, man. I like that. Where to? I don't know, Garrett. You know, I don't know. We'll have to talk about it. Everybody that's actually in the group, once we get the group up and running, uh, matter of fact, that might be something we talk about on, uh, on Sunday when we get everything going. Level 5 sounds good. It's on my goal list. Yep, I like that. Level 5, man. Get the level 5 at... What was low five? Low five was it half a milli? Yeah, 480? Yeah, get a, get a low five, man. That'd be good. One condition, no wife. Ha. Hey, man. And Noah said no swag surfing. <laughs> Y'all funny, man. Y'all funny. Uh, I mean, hey, if you want to bring a significant other, cool. If not, cool. You know, what you do is your business. I just think that uh, I'd be good though to get together for a week and we trade live. Uh, and um, get a chance to take a look at everything. So, uh, and enjoy, man. You have to, you have, you have to enjoy it. I can tell you guys one time. I told you guys, I've told people before. Uh, GPNZD for the buy. GPNZD for the buy. Okay, look at it, trying to make a move. Still stuck in the zone. though. it's just ranging right now in between these two zones. We were almost in profit on G Chef. Come on, G Chef, quit playing with us. We're playing with us. Take us out of our misery. Go ahead and get 20 people take profit. But one thing I can tell you, though, about trading. Trading is not real until you can withdraw your money and do something with it. All right? If you've never withdrawn your money and paid a bill, went on vacation, bought a present, went out to eat, whatever, went to the movies. It doesn't matter how big or how small. Trading is not real until you make withdrawal and you spend the money on something. Even if it just put it back in your pocket. Hey, you put five grand into your account and you take five grand out, put it back in your bank account. It's not real until you take your money out. All right. I guarantee you it may feel good to make 20 grand, you know, uh, in your account, which is just on paper. But if you turn around the next week and blow it all, trying to turn that 20 into 50 and now you have nothing, you still have nothing. But let's say you made two grand and you took half out and you can touch it now. It's not real until you can touch it. My friend, hold on, I'm gonna show you guys something. Hold on. All right. When I make withdrawals, I have a, uh, a Bitcoin wallet that I use. It's called BitPay, B-I-T-P-A-Y. They have a debit card attached to that. So anytime that I want to uh, withdraw money, uh, I take it out. You know, I put money into my BitPay account and from BitPay, I can convert uh, my Bitcoin into cash onto my debit card. Here is my BitPay card. You see, you've got a chip, it's a MasterCard, that BitPay on it, all my information, my name, and of course, uh, card number, everything's on the back. I'm not gonna show that as private, but this is my BitPay card. I put money on this bad boy. You know, I, I can use the, the, the actual Bitcoin wallet to move Bitcoin around. You know, I sent some Bitcoin to a friend today or yesterday. Um, uh, but I also withdrew some. I can tell you right now, I got a massage earlier this week. It was free. 
trading profits. I can't say free, but it was trading profits. It didn't come out of my bank account. I just paid for it with my BitPay card. Because it's a real card. Then after that, I went out to eat. So after I got my negative test with COVID, I was like, great. Now I'm back to living my regular life. I went masked up, of course. <laughs> but I went, got a massage. Went, got my hair cut. Everything I've done this week, been with that BitPay card. I've been running it through the machine all week, taking cash out. I got, matter of fact, I got some cash. I got about 60 bucks. I don't, even, I don't carry much cash, but I got a little cash from the BitPay wallet, I mean, from the BitPay card, which is trading profits. It's not real until you can withdraw your money and you, know, you don't have to live off of it. Just be able to just withdraw, touch it, feel it, smell it, spend it, put it back in your bank account. When you get that feeling of withdrawing and actually having it back in your hand, like, man, a few hours ago, the crazy thing about that big pay is I can withdraw my, some profit. Let's say, let's say I make $500 this week. And I take it out and I put it on my big pay, card, big pay card and I go to the ATM. I can literally transfer money from my broker to my big pay wallet, convert it to my debit card, go to the ATM and get the cash out in less than two hours or less. Two hours or less, I can pay myself. It's not real till you touch it, all right? Not real till you touch it. What kind of massage? Oh, man, just regular, you know, regular uh, full body massage, man. Just, uh, you know, after uh, being dealing with COVID, man, you got to deal with all the, the body aches and, you know, you know, all that, man. Not being able to sleep, tossing and turning. So, you know, just a regular, you know, back massage, man. Nothing, nothing crazy. You can also deploy your, your crypto and staking wallets. Yep. I don't stake right now, but yeah, you can. Uh, oh, no wonder you can't do the giveaway right now. <laughs> oh, I can do the giveaway right Well, no, the account's not at, at, the, at the level yet. So, um, because we haven't traded, I haven't traded for like two weeks, uh, well, really three weeks. We haven't remained any trades this week. But uh, for me, the account that I give the money away from, that account has to be 50% higher than the pre than what I'm giving away. So, the account needs to get to 7,500 before I give away the five grand. Because if I give away the five grand now, you, know, you, you start all over again. Because now, after I give away the five grand, then guess what? The next goal is to give away 10 grand. So I got to have a good base. So my strategy is I need to be at 50% higher than what I give away. So that's why. When I hit 7,500, then we give away money. That's what we did with the 2,500. But at that point, I had like $3,800, so a little bit over the 50% level. So when I gave the 2,500 away, I had 1,300 bucks left over. All right, so that's, what I, that's what I do to make sure that the account is solid to be able to withstand more trades going forward uh, you know, for, the, uh, for the giveaway. With a 600 drawdown, with a $600 drawdown, be the 797 cost is close to finding your own account, funding your own account, plus the upside of the group. Correct, man, you, you're right, that's a strategy. You're trading real money. So, they're going to make money. Their goal is to make money is, you know, for them. And so if the, the drawdown is 600 bucks and you pay 797 and you hit the $600, well, they made their $600 back and they made $197 profit. So, yeah, I mean, you know, you're, you're, you're funding, you can say funding your own account, but guess what? You know, once you surpass that $600 drawdown at first level, it's uphill from there and it's a 4% drawdown at each level. And, at the, you know, the next level is 60K. 4% of 60K is 2,400. So if you lose 2,400 and you only put in 797, are you really funding your account? I think not, all right? Joseph bought new furniture in his new apartment with Arrow Money, my man. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, I've got some books. I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna start dropping some books in the chat. I got a whole bunch. I got a, I actually got a Telegram channel that I'm in that posts a whole bunch of free books. So I got some, I got some books for you guys. Uh, I used to have a good crypto portfolio. I've got a few coins right now, but I'm not, in, I'm not into crypto right now. Not, not, not like I used to be. Not like I used to be. The upside is way higher than funding your own account. Correct. But I can tell you, guess what, you know, uh, Here's the big difference between funding your own account and, and using a prop firm, all right? So you say that the 797 payout and the 600 DD is like funding your own account, all right? 
I can see how you can make that 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 rationale. But guess what? If I made a thousand, if you if you funded your own account with that seven ninety seven and you made a thousand fifty, thousand fifty plus seven ninety seven is eighteen hundred and forty seven dollars. That's all you would have. That's it. But here you make a thousand fifty. Now you have a what? A sixty thousand dollar account. Big difference. All right. You're looking at the the, the 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 you know the glass half full. I mean half empty. We're looking at it half full. All right. The upside is there. That's why risk management is number one. Going out there and being reckless using these crazy lot sizes, you lose six hundred dollars, and then now you got to figure out: Do you want to pay eight hundred bucks over again? Why do you think FTMO is still in business? Why do you think Audacity is still in business? Why do you think you know Funding Town is still in business? Because most people don't worry about risk management. They don't understand the rules. They don't go look at the website. They don't look at the fine print. All they want to do is let me figure out how to get this ten percent real quick, and they blow their accounts. They All right, GA money zones. Let's take a look at GA money zone. GP AUD money zone. Down three pips on G Chef. We right there. We right there. GP AUD broke the money zone. Yes, it did. Look at the G shift daily. All right, we'll get there in a second here. Let me look at this here. Let me zoom in a little bit more here. And it's GPAUD. It broke Asia. Broke Asia again here. And it's ran up already 26 pips. What is that? G G Oh, I'm not touching G Look at that on ADR. I'm not touching G Not touching it. G chef. Someone said, look at G chef on the daily. G Chef is sitting in a zone on the daily, pushing down. I don't see any order blocks. Got some, you know, so we're looking pretty good. I feel pretty good about G Chef. See this 20 pips. Me to see this 20 twin twin. Gary R T T T P on G I. Hey, congrats, congrats. G Cat ADR also in the red, but it's still pushing. Oh yeah, it definitely push. It could definitely push. It's just one thing. Look at that. It's just something I just stay away from. I just I, I don't look I don't look to get it in the pairs that are already blown or ADR. It's just something I do. Again, you know, everybody gotta have their own, got to have your own strategy. All right, look at that. Bearish engulfing off the bottom of Asia on GJ. GJ is pushing down. What's GU doing? GU don't know. It's not trying to, it's not trying to commit. Well, bearish engulfing. So it's trying to push down just like GJ, G Chef. Look at that, straight up, straight down. It's a railroad track. Railroad track, a bearish railroad track. So yeah, even the signs are there, even the uh, price action are there. Price action is there, so GI is, is doing this thing. Man, I hate when they go in the opposite direction. Look at that. GN pushing up, GCAD pushing up. Got to be more careful. Hmm, I hate when they do that. 30-30. Euro's not doing much of nothing. Push up a little bit here. Bitcoin. Gonna push down. Mm -hmm. G Chef, we're down three pips. Got a 20 pip take profit and 20 pip stop loss set. All right. 20 twin twin. I feel pretty good about that. All right, caught 1,400 pips on GER in 24 hours. Congrats. That's a good catch right there. Took GBP, GBP, JPY for the sale on a retest of A channel. All right, nice. 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 Yeah, guys, that's it. That is it. Now, it might be tough on you guys, and you might guys might think, oh, Nate, man, he's just an a-hole, man. He always don't want to answer our questions when we talk about money. I love talking about money. You know what I'm saying? You know, but at the end of the day, you got to understand risk management. It's great to talk about money. But if you can't understand the risk, all right, to uh, consistently make the money, 
what are you talking about? What's the point of talking about it? At that point, it's just dreams. I don't, I don't like to talk about dreams and money. I want to talk about reality and money. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I can tell you a fifth goal would be after we go on vacation, the fifth goal is once we get to the $2 million mark, what is everybody going to buy their self with the first withdrawal from that 960 k account that we have right before the $2 million, What are you going to buy yourself? You know, you're going to buy yourself a car, a house. You know, because that, let's go look at it. Let's go look at it. At 960, profit target is 120 grand. We get 50%. That's a 60K payout. A 60K payout. Some people don't even make 60K in a year, and you're getting that payout for the month because the goal is to hit these each month. Of course, we're going to take our time. We're not going to press anything. All right. But we are going to take a withdrawal every month. I can tell you guys that right now because with Manifest, even if you don't hit the profit target, let's say you have each profit target other than the first level is 12.5%. So if we get to 960, and let's say we only do 10%, so that's 96,000. All right, cool. We still got 2.5% left to go. And so we'll do that the following month. But at 96,000, 50% payout is 48 grand. Either way, that's a nice payout. So the goal is when we get the $2 million account, the goal is at that point is going to be everybody got to post a picture of something they bought. We're gonna do we'll probably we'll do that a couple of times. At every level, you know, I think everybody should pay themselves and, and buy themselves something small. So we're gonna do some cool stuff, man. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Like I said, we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. A lot of fun with it. I think it, you know, I think that's pretty cool. Each level everybody gotta buy themselves something. Something small. Something small, medium size, whatever, you know, in the beginning you don't make that much money. But then you know, you get to here, you should, you know, you get the nine, you know, sixty K payout, fifty percent of the one twenty, man, that's you know, you, you can do a lot of things, it's okay. What to buy yourself? So, yeah, we have a lot of fun with you guys. I, I look forward to it. I look forward to it because at that point, when you're buying yourself something, and you know, and, and of course, put the rest up, paying your taxes, tithing offer, whatever it is that you do, um, you know, it'd be pretty cool to be able to post, you know, manifest profits or not, 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 not profits, but manifest well, profits too. I want to show my bank account. Hey, here's my bank account, pay out today, 60k. But I also want to show, hey, here's my you know, pool table that I bought, you know, whatever, whatever it is. So we have a lot of fun, man. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. The road to 2 million. You guys give me a lot of cool ideas, man. We have a lot of fun with it. New dirt bike. NBA season tickets. All right, that's nice. Nate wants Thunder season tickets. No, not right now. They suck. Plus I live in Dallas. I'm not driving up there. Not every, not, not for season tickets. So if you reach 6,000, when do you, they give 50? When you hit, when you reach, oh, 60,000. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go back and look. All right, so you can see here that at level one, they pay out 40%. At levels two through six, they pay out 50%. And at level seven, they pay you out at 60%. All right. But look at the website, guys. All the information is there. Go to the website. You got the link. Go to the website. Read. Everything's there for you. Everything's there for you. Do you take a fee? I don't take a fee. I don't. I don't get a fee, guys. I don't. I mean, there. There. If you go look at the website, you'll see there is not a referral program. Only the reason I'm asking everybody to send me the email confirmation is so that I know who's real, who's really paid. You know, there's gonna be you know a lot of people that just want to jump in the group, just jump in the group. No, this is for real people looking to take real action. But no, I don't. There is no referral program. I'm not sending no link out. You know, you guys go. The, the link that I send you guys is a, just a regular website. I, I'm not. There is, there is no referral program. So I get nothing. From your perspective, if you do Manifest 7, should you trade just there so your focus isn't divided? Uh, it all depends on. No, I mean, you trade everywhere. If you already have an FTMO account or funding talent, use a trade copier and trade both, both at the same time. Just get, you got to understand the parameters, though, and the risk management on both sides so that you understand what's going on. But shouldn't have a problem. Like I said, I've got – this will make my second well, – my, my, sorry, this – when I start manifesting, this will make my third, my third prop firm. I got a $5,000 uh, one. I got a $50,000 uh, uh, one. And then we'll start off at fifteen. dollars So uh, this will be my third prop firm that I'm trading with. Uh, now, two out of the three have very similar – uh, numbers and risk uh, as as manifest and another one is a little oddball but you know 
it's not a problem. I know I understand how to adjust my lot sizes and all that and uh, to accommodate for that. So, so no, it shouldn't, it shouldn't matter. What about the new guy that's still learning? If you don't feel comfortable doing it, don't, hey, don't do it. Uh, I can tell you that, you know, we're going to, uh, uh, you know, everybody's going to take, potentially take the same trades, you know? So if you want to, you know, it's up to you. Can you please share email? Um, not really sure what you mean by that one. Uh, there's nothing about email. You have to send me, you know, the, so once you pay for it, they will send you an email confirmation, you know, that shows you paid for it. You have to send a, take a screenshot of that and then send that to me. Find me on Telegram. Once you, that's proof. You show me proof that you have paid for it and got your account. Bada bing, bada boom. You know, then I'll let you into the group. All right. That's kind of how that works. All right. Anybody got any questions? Any other questions? Go take a look at the charts. We are pretty close to profit from what I saw. Teeter chart. There it is. We are in profit on G Chef plus one pip. Let's get it. Plus two pips. Finally. Come on, baby. Finally got that profit. I would I would expect to wait. You know, I'm going to of course go to sleep here after the call. But I would expect that uh, I would expect that uh, probably by the time I wake up. So I would expect I would expect to hit TP before New York is what I would expect before going into New York. It's just 20 pips, not that far. And you guys know the rule. You know, you guys, well, you guys know what I'm going to do. So my, you guys know how I trade. Once I see that I'm 15 pips in profit, I will put the stop loss at three pips in profit. And lock it in it'll be a free trade at that point all right low volatility we're going into friday um so we'll see how things go all right see how things go up 10 double dip nice got a little bit of double dippers you double dippers all right guys markets are moving slow not looking to do anything more we talked about manifest seven look forward to uh, trading you guys uh for those who join uh I've already given out announcements. So AP, AP Live Atlanta is next week. All right, next Thursday. AP Live Miami, September the 16th, where we will reveal what Aero 5.0 is. The following week, September 24th, is when we will release Aero 5.0. And then October 26th is AP Live Dallas. Um, come out, trade you know, with the uh, educators, uh, the Aero educators, um, meet everybody, you know, uh, we have a lot of fun. Um, yacht party, there's going to be two yacht parties, you know, in Miami. So for those who get there, um, I believe they're going to be the day before the event. So that Wednesday, those who get there early, potentially come on and get on a yacht party. So that'd be a lot of fun in Miami. Um, Road to 2 million starts Sunday. We'll probably just do an introductory call, a little Zoom call, uh, to start talking about everything. AP Social. So we will no longer be on Zoom going forward. This will be the last Zoom call because nobody does any calls tomorrow. So going forward, we will be in the back office. So you log into the back office. We don't know how to. Let me log in real quick to show you. So when you log into the website, bada bing, bada boom, you'll see that, you know, there's three little lines here. You select those three lines right there, and then boom, you come to AP Marketplace, select that, and there it is, Arrow Trade Room. Select on, click on the Arrow Trade Room, and when you get there, you automatically have a, a, a screen that shows whoever the educator is that's on. That's how you get there. All right? Q&A. Um, no, please go take a look at the website. You will see that only the first level has a relative DD for manifest. That's it. Look at the other levels. They got a max stop out. They don't say anything about relative DD. Please go take a look at the website. All right. 
The link is in the group. All right. Go take a look at the website, read it, understand it. All right, guys. There is nothing, there is no such thing as a free ride. There's no such thing as printing money, guaranteed money. You got to do your own research, guys. Guys, to do it. But the relative DV is only at the first level. After that, it's max stop out, which I love. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, go to the YouTube for Voya Prime. And Wednesday morning, my first uh, lending session call uh, for, the, for this week, um, I talked about why I like Manifest. And one of it was talking about the stopouts and how that works. Uh, we'll go over all the rules for everybody that joins on Sunday, uh, talk about the game plan, talk about some of the cool things, you know, that we're going to uh, try to achieve, uh, and, you, know, to, to, you know, to enjoy and have fun. All right. Uh, at the end of the day, it's all about change lives. So I uh, look forward to uh, seeing you guys on that. Uh, and we'll go from there. So if you're going to trade after this call, make sure to trade responsibly. All right. Uh, you can start anytime. There is, you can start whenever. There is no exact date. There is no end date, guys, on Manifest. I've said that many times. All right? I've said that many times. You can start whenever you are ready to start. All right? All right. And uh, they just dropped the link for the YouTube for Wednesday. For Wednesday. Go check that out. You'll see, you know, Wednesday's call, I broke down everything on Manifest 7. All right? So all your questions are there. Uh, on that call, um, you're going to trade after this call. Make sure you trade responsibly. I will see you guys on AP Social in the back office next week. See you in the funny papers.